Okay, hi YouTubers. I got a lot done today on this CX500 project. As you can see, I got the plate mounted. I got the down tube tack welded here. I also got these tubes tack welded to the main horizontal tube and a few other tacks here and there. Also, I just want to show you how I uh, made my sandwich plate in the previous video. You'll see the sandwich plate that I made. What I did is I had to make a bushing, a drill bushing, after I drilled the hole. So this is my drill bushing I machined up on the lathe. What I did is I drilled this hole, half inch. I located the holes first. I transfer punched them from the plate. I made sure everything was in center and square. And in turn, I machined this up. Uh, was It's a half inch hole. And I kind of press fit it in here. And I was able to again transfer punch on the other on the back side of this this housing or whatever it's called the lower swing arm uh, just to make an indentation and then what I did is I took a drill that fit pretty tight in here and drilled a pilot hole for underneath and then after that I followed through with a, a half inch drill and believe it or not it all lined up pretty good I just had to finesse a couple holes which was no big deal I actually just had to reach in for the holes to get some clearance and it's all sandwiched together now as you can see um, I'm very happy with it the upper tank mount not the tank mount but the racket for the shock is also fully welded onto the down tube the stig welded and I also had made some gussets down here as well on each side from my bracket and I'm going to also put gussets um, right in here this this gusset's going to go inside here like this sorry for the camera movement it's going to be welded in like this just to triangulate that and give this this horizontal tube some more strength but all in all I'm very happy with it. it's all tacked together and what I also did down here to add strength is inside here I put a um, one eighth strap that fits inside here and I fully welded it all the way around and it's narrower than the bushing so there's no interference anywhere so this this is also pretty strong as well I, I just didn't like the way the bushing was hanging out there from the transition from the tube to the bushing so that's fully fully welded on both sides so all I need to do right now is fully weld everything I think I'm gonna fully weld it in place as much as I can because I don't want to take it out of its position because I know it's going to move if I put it on the bench and weld it's going to move all over the place it's going to distort and uh, stretch everywhere and or shrink so I just don't want to go through that hassle and I know it's still going to shrink a little bit but we should be good to go I'm, I ran out of argon so tomorrow's Monday I'm going to get some more argon and uh, I went through quite a bit of argon with other projects as well so after I fill that up, I'll do full welds, hopefully this week on it. And then I start on the seat frame and then we're, we're done with this bike. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and talk to you soon. Thanks.